Hey everyone, how's it going? Nate, Nate the Great here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys what happens when you collect all 100 cat shines in Bowser's Fury. So as you guys can see right now, I have 99 cat shines, and I'm just going to go over and collect that 100th cat shine over here. So upon collecting the final shine and after Fury Bowser goes away, you're entreated to this little message which reads the following. Congratulations, you've collected all of the cat shines. A message is ringing out from the Gigabell. You are ready. Go cleanse the beast of its fury with the full power of the cat shines. So now I'm just going to go head over to the Gigabell to initiate this final fight. And Bowser comes down, but he's in this new form. He's gotten a little bit hotter, so now he has white flames on him. And we're going to get to fight this super hot white flame Fury Bowser right now. So after transforming into Fury Mario, nothing has really changed about this final fight. Other than the aesthetics of Bowser. So he now has the super hot white flames rather than the regular red flames. But overall, nothing has really changed. He plays pretty much the same way. I personally felt like the battle was a little bit longer than the first time I played it. But maybe that was just me. So upon defeating Fury Bowser, he then is going to transform back into regular Bowser in his giant form now. And you get to fight him again, and it's going to be almost the exact same as the first time you fought him in the game when you fought him when you got those 50 cat shines. So upon delivering the final blow, there's no huge differences here. Plessy turns huge again, and you get to ride him as Fury Mario and deliver that final blow to Bowser, which I just find this hilarious. So there we go. We've got the fireworks, and now we get to see that cat coin up in the sky as the sun. And so now the, the final cutscene is going to play out, and I'll let you guys take a look at that. This is, is pretty funny and it cracks me up. It gives me, a, gives me a smile to my face. So after this final cutscene is played out, you then are entreated to one final thing after the credits. A final image from Bowser Jr. It's this little painting showing that you've gotten all of the 100 cat shines. And so then hopping back into the game, one thing has changed, or two things have changed. So you now see that you get to play as Fury Mario. So Fury Mario plays pretty much the exact same as Cat Mario. Uh, there's no huge differences here. You get to run around as him, then it, it's really cool to see him in kind of this almost super sane type of a look. And there he is looking at him in almost an anime-type style or a manga-type style. But as I was looking at him in photo mode, all of a sudden I saw this monstrosity. So there is Meowser Jr. So I guess after getting all of the 100 cat shines in the game, you now get to play as Fury Mario or Super Saiyan Mario, and then you also get to have Meowser Jr. follow you around. And he is just terrifying. I would not want to run into him in the middle of the night. So yeah, that's the video for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you guys like this, please make sure to subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.